He is pulling together to help a family after a pretty frightening crime that happened along the Oregon coast. Investigators say a driver repeatedly ran the family's car, nearly killing the young father. Well, now his co-workers are doing everything they can to help support him. Or Amy Frazier met with them today in Lake Oswego. Amy? Yeah, Jeff, the victim works at a grocery store in Lake Oswego. Co-workers say what happened to the family is unthinkable, and they really hope others will rally around them with love and care. What's for lunch today? At Palisades Marketplace in Lake Oswego. It sounds very good. There's a smile missing behind the counter. <laughs> He's just a real special soul. 27 year old Fawad Mohammadi is a chef here. He's also a husband and the proud father of an 18 month old little boy. You know, when you talk about somebody that's been in an accident or something and you say, well, that person was assaulted here. He's genuinely that person. He started working here after immigrating from Afghanistan, where coworkers say he helped the U.S. military as an interpreter. It's really hard to think of everything that he went through and then to come here and be so content with his life and then have this terrible thing happened to him. On March 6th, Fawad and his family were vacationing in Lincoln City when investigators say driver Perry Nicolopoulos rammed their car in the Walgreens parking lot. Fawad's wife tells police they got out to look at the damage and that's when she says the driver came at them again. Fawad was able to throw his wife out of the way and he took the, the full force of the hit. And then the guy backed up again and tried to hit him again. So he rolled out of the way and started screaming at his wife to get the baby out of the car, and the guy drove away. Fawad remains in the ICU at a Portland hospital with multiple injuries. Hopefully they'll know today after the surgery whether he's going to be able to keep his leg. As for the suspect, police found and arrested him along Highway 101. He's facing several charges, including attempted murder. I don't know how anybody could do that to a young family. And friends have started a GoFundMe page to help support the victim and his family. If you'd like to help out, we have much more information tonight at coin.com. Jennifer.